Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, you'll meet the executive director of Tech Titans. It's been around for 30 years. He's going to reflect on the rich history and look forward to the next 30 years. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, some 30 years ago, the uh, wise people in Richardson were smart enough to start Tech Titans because of the telecom corridor. I remember covering so many news stories in Richardson related to technology. Well, 30 years later, uh, the organization has matured and it's broken out on its own. To talk about that today, uh, Paul Bindle, he's the executive director of Tech Titans. Nice uh, to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation. Absolutely. Well, you and I know each other uh, through speaking engagements back you know, in the early 2000s. Uh, why don't you d d give us a little of your history? Well, yeah, I've been in the, uh, in the Chamber of Commerce industry for a long time. Started in East Texas uh, with the Tyler Chamber of Commerce and spent some time in Kilgore managing their chamber and then moved up here and have been with uh, the Richardson Chamber slash Tech Titan is now for 21 years and now completely moved over to Tech Titans since we've gone uh, you know, to become an independent organization. So completely uh, association management focused with Tech Titans and it's been an interesting career. I've met you know, most every governor in the last 40 years, uh, state representatives, people of industry and, and it's been a fascinating career to be able to enjoy and work in that particular field. Absolutely. We're going to pull up the website. Why don't you talk about the mission of Tech Titans? Well, our mission is really focused on building uh, the technology sector here in North Texas. Uh, in many respects, we are among the largest technology centers uh, in the country. Uh, when you think of technology in Texas, everybody thinks Austin, and they do have a great community down there, no, 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 nothing uh, to take back from them except that in some cases we have bigger areas of interest. We're like the third largest uh, center for data centers in the country. Wow. Um, uh, back in the day when RFID became very, very prevalent that turned into IoT, the Internet of Things, we're still a very hot uh, commodity area for Internet of Things um, and those kinds of things. So, yeah, what we want to do is take companies uh, and their members get them engaged in our organization, build networks that do two things, not, not only promote uh, the future of the technology industry here, but promote their company, get them engaged to where they can uh, have a you know, tremendous amount of growth in the process. We also are building the workforce of tomorrow through our STEM program, and we're working with startups and emerging companies with our innovation uh, expo that's coming up a little bit later this year. So there's a lot of different aspects, but the focus is bringing people together so they can do business. We were talking just before we went on the air about the value of membership and you were telling me a great story. Yeah, we, we were at a committee meeting. Oh golly, this was a long time ago. And one of the members of that committee, a relatively new member of Tech Titans, was uh, complaining that he had not had any business leads uh, since being a member and been a member about six months and the chairman of the committee who was also on the executive committee and board of directors uh, I remember clearly took his glasses off and set them down and said you joined for the wrong reason you joined to get business you need to join to be able to build your network he said I've been a member for 10 years and not gotten one contract from any of the association that I've had with any of our members and until last year. And he said it was the biggest contract my company had, had ever put together. But he said, I joined to be around you folks, to be part of 
uh, a growing and uh, emerging uh, community that can build the tech industry. And he said, it's been very rewarding because I haven't worried too much about soliciting members. Uh, he said, I've never solicited a member at all. So that's an example of, sure. I think, the quality of, of, of the kinds of folks that come in, in be, and are part of our organization. And you hinted you have an expo coming up. Let's go ahead and roll this video. It looks like an exciting event. Okay, to tell, tell people why they need to come. Well, we actually have changed it up. Uh, and I think it will be an exciting event because it's going to be a full afternoon of activities. Uh, for years, we have had pitch events uh, as we tried to work with, uh, as I said earlier, startup companies, emerging companies. We created this concept of innovation collider to where we collide all of the various elements uh, to help companies succeed. And so we've had pitch events in the past that had major companies pitching how small companies could you know, secure their business. We've had the small companies pitching about their wares and how they could interest the large companies. We're gonna expand that. Rather than sitting through an afternoon of hearing one presentation after another, we're gonna open it up with a very well-known entrepreneur telling their story uh, of uh, what they did to become successful. And then we're gonna open it up to an expo. We're hoping to get 50 companies that can then have a table, put their laptop out or their product out and talk to qualified investors. We're working with several investor groups to make sure that the investors that come are those that are really interested in investing. And then for two or three hours, they're gonna be able to walk around and make appointments and visit with those folks. And then we're gonna conclude the afternoon over a happy hour with a panel discussion on what we've learned today. Mm. Uh, taking a company that has been successful one that's just starting out and one that's in an emerging stage. And what did we learn today? What can we do? What's the next step? And I think it's, it, it's open to anybody who wants to, to, to attend, but for companies that want to exhibit and be a part of it, it's a hundred dollar fee mm -hmm. to participate. We're going to charge $10 for people who just want to come and observe uh, to see the show. So I think it's going to be a great event. It's something that's different for us as we try to expand our reach uh, into the area of entrepreneurialism. Outstanding. Well, you mentioned earlier the STEM initiative, so we're going to show a video here in a second, but I want you to set this up by talking about why that's a cornerstone. Well, if, if people will recall 2010 or 20, I guess it was the 2011 or 2013 Texas legislature, I don't recall which one, they changed the graduation requirements for high school students. You no longer have to have math, science, English, geography, history, in the eighth grade, students are asked to go in and pick a, a, uh, uh, a schedule of what they want to study over the next four years, and only one of those includes math. So we created about 10 years ago a uh, STEM program where we take uh, people who are in the industry, engineers, uh, technology folks, uh, teach a curriculum. This is not a show and tell where they go and, hey, I do this. It's a curriculum based on what that science teacher needs. And they go in in the morning and they spend the day with them. We feed them lunch. And the objective is to encourage those high school students and middle school students to consider taking math, science, uh, and other tech engineering type programs and encouraging them to even look at careers and particularly post high school, you know, college education. We've been able to, over the last 10 years, we've worked with about six school districts to be able to, we call them inspirations, to inspire over 20,000 students. Wow. Uh, the, probably the most prolific uh, example of, of our success, and I'm gonna mention the school district because they've been good partners with us, is the Louisville ISD. Uh, last spring, we did a virtual program to 98 classrooms, over 2,000 kids, and this was a program based on women in technology. 
encouraging young women to take a look at math, take a look at science. Uh, and so I think it's, a, it, it's one of the reasons that our members uh, come to us is because they see the need to develop the workforce. If we hear anything over and over again, it's the need to develop a qualified workforce. And you think about what's going on with the semiconductor industry right now. They need people to learn how to do that. So this is kind of what we're doing. Outstanding. You guys put together a great video about a year ago. Let's go ahead and roll that. We are inspiring students. That's what the Tech Titan STEM team really does. Why is this important to you? Because North Texas STEM students become your future STEM workers. Tech Titans really helps our students understand what it looks like to be an engineer someday by getting them connected to engineers in as many ways as possible. We have engineers come and speak to our students through the successful Women in Technology events. We send our students out to industry to hear from engineers and to see them at work in their daily setting. That is something that is invaluable to our students because it really helps them process what it actually looks like to be an engineer and then say, yes, I want to do this. In the classroom, it's impossible to put that into perspective for the students. Students are still very concrete, even at the high school stage, and it's pretty much impossible to help them imagine what it actually looks like in a manufacturing facility or in a office environment or anything like that. Yeah, I definitely want to go work at TI. Um, just getting to see the, the people in the actual work environment um, from like the factory process, I guess, where they were making the actual products like the microchips to the more office type setting where they were just in their little cubicles or in the conference rooms. Everything looked very inviting and, you know, very exciting to work with. It sort of did help convince me because I was like, this is so cool. There's so much science and technology and like things happening like in front of me and in this whole building. And it took engineers, people like me, I'd hope, like created it all and made this huge industry out of it. Today is about these students are helping uh, Engineering World Health make optical heart rate monitors. And how crazy awesome is that, that they're taking their engineering skills, they're learning something new to create the circuit for these heart rate monitors, and then helping other countries with something that they really need that they can't make on their own. It was helpful because of the, like, the stress of the time restraint, but also the joy of if I get it working, it'll help someone else out there that needs it. It was really like, push my, fuel my passion even more for it. The influence of our industry professionals is instrumental in our students recognizing that their future is not limited by a zip code or by an experience that maybe they have seen at home, but that anything is possible. And by interacting with and being mentored by individuals across all career fields, it helps our kids be inspired and empowered to realize they too can achieve anything they set their, their dreams to. Seeing some females and not just all males, it was really helpful because if it was all male, I would sort of feel a little left out and pressured to be super amazing and talented just to show that I'm not, uh, what's the word, underqualified. So I could like show people that even females can be super talented, but seeing others just sort of lessen the pressure. Tech Titan STEM initiatives are fun as well as critical. We ask you to volunteer your time to share your experiences and talent. And because Tech Titans provides all of this to our ISD partners at no charge, we also need your tax deductible donations. Paul, oh, congratulations on such a cool organization. So I know there's probably people watching this who want to get involved uh, in the final two minutes. How do people get involved? Well, we are always looking for members. We're a membership-based organization, as I said earlier. So we really rely on members to do two things. Not only come in and join, you have to join to get engaged with us to be on our committees. But you're out in the field. They're out in the field. They're doing the, the things that we just saw. Uh, and so we want their ideas. Our, our programming teams with, for our tech industry luncheon, uh, our uh, forums, for the, you know, cybersecurity and AI forums that do programs rely on members to be able to put those programs together because they know who the subject matter experts are. So my recommendation would be you know, get engaged with us. We have various levels of membership uh, rates, um, each with a different level of benefits that go with that. Uh, and you know, it's on the website. People can take a look at that. 
uh, give us a call. We'd love to be able to visit with you. And, you know, the, at, the, at the end of the day, the issue is you know, get connected. Outstanding. What a great segment. We're going to end you with the website, which is uh, techtitans.org, the great Paul Bendel. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.